Welcome to Today on 2 on another rainy morning. <laughs> Boy, if you love the last few days, you're going to get real excited about today. Oh, goodness gracious. And wait till you hear about tomorrow. That's even going Ooh. to be better. <laughs> I don't know. Let's check the weather. Brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet of Cherokee Avenue. Make the switch to Mitch. Here's the weather almanac for the 16th of January. Are you getting tired of that snowflake yeah. on there? Well, I think we might have it tomorrow, so well, we might maybe need so, to but I was thinking if maybe if we put sunshine on there. <laughs> maybe that would change, change it. The forecast. Hey, that's a good idea. Okay, the average high temperature is 53, the average low is 27, the record high is 77 in 1943, the record low 1 degree in 1972. Sunset this afternoon, 2 minutes after 5, and sunrise tomorrow morning at 6:52. There's the satellite picture, and boy, this front just is slow moving, isn't it? Oh, it's about three is. days in a row. Oh. It just looks like it stays stationary, especially through our part of the country. Here's the forecast for today. 70% chance of rain this morning, a high of 45. 30% chance of rain and or snow tonight, with little or no accumulation, low near 30. Cloudy and windy tomorrow, 70% chance of rain or snow. Okay, I shouldn't be laughing at this. With little or no accumulation, a high near 40 tomorrow. And then sunshine. Yay for the sunshine. <laughs> I was laughing because they were giving signals to our cameraman and he's outdoors. <laughs> <laughs> he was missing in action. <laughs> they went looking for him. Anyway, it was kind of funny. Sorry. The things behind the scenes here. Are <laughs> yeah. Sometimes interesting. <laughs> right. Well, let's see. We survived Robert Post yesterday. <laughs> yes, that's a good way to put it. Survived him. <laughs> you know, he uh, was on our show yesterday morning, and he really was a funny man. Yes. <laughs> uh, you know, I was talking to you afterwards. I said, I don't really like slapstick so much. But I think he did an excellent job, and he had all these different little routines. And even kids, I commented yeah. to you several times, there were... A couple of kids that were sitting in front of us, and they were just giggling and having the best time. So if he appealed to the youngsters, and yeah. these are probably eight, nine years old, you know, and to the adults, I thought he did an excellent uh -huh. job. Just a yeah. good, clean act. Funny, funny, funny. Mm -hmm. He did, what, eight or ten skits? Yeah, Something like just that. did a great <laughs> Just really, yeah, and a very original material. Oh, yes. Uh, very original. Yes. But anyway, it was a good community concert last night. Right. Who's our Facebook? friend of the day today. Miss Jamie Robertson. And look at those eyes. She's cutting at us. Look at that. <laughs> I like that. She likes country music and camping. So very good, Miss Jamie. And we're glad to have her as our Facebook friend. If you want to be a friend, just be a friend and just like us on channel two, spill out the number two, Coleman. Okay, and so who's our guest for today? Well, Miss Jennifer Parker is here. It's all about Girl Scout cookie time. Cookies. <laughs> <laughs> and she is here to talk about the sales and some other things that are going on with Girl Scouts. That's what we have lined up for today. Coming up next, George Spear, News and Commentary. At Premier Bank, we're a bit old-fashioned. We actually answer the telephone when you call. However, old-fashioned doesn't mean we aren't up to date. With the latest technology, Premier Bank meets the various needs of our customers. Mobile smartphone banking, internet banking, ATMs, convenient offices. At Premier Bank, we have the right products right now with good old-fashioned customer service. At Premier Bank, we put the customer first. Twenty years ago, it was a different breed of men who came west. They were looking for adventure and excitement. There was plenty of adventure to go around, and lots of excitement. At first, it was the Indians who provided the adventure. And for those who lived to tell about it, there was no question about its being exciting.
you're not. Well, what are you doing hiding there behind the table? Listen, nobody told me I had to share a dressing room. Didn't they tell you about her? Her? What's the matter, sweetie? You don't like coarse girls? This morning, you're more than welcome to give us a call at that number. And don't forget, we're streaming live on Facebook or channel 2 Coleman.com, that is. Well, we had a guy who I guess is responsible for a good number of break-ins, or rather robberies. Uh, the banks, they've called Jimmy Dawson Cunningham, found him, and the person in the picture, they uh, showed it to his wife, and she had been reporting him missing for a while, believe it or not. But he apparently had his hands full because she says she believes recent stress at a new job. He's a chef, by the way. Didn't realize being a chef could be a lot of stress, but you got to get it just right, I guess. Anyway, she believes this tre- <laughs> stress at a new job triggered a past problem with drugs, leading him to rob banks. She says he was working so much there was no Christmas bonus. Well, that'll do it every time. No Christmas bonus. I think it pushed him over the edge, she says. So they've got him, I guess, and now if he can just deal with that stress. Didn't know that that kind of thing could happen. Now you know. People in Portland, Oregon, and in New York yesterday riding the bus with nothing but their underwear on. What? And if it was for a cause, it would be one thing. I mean, we've seen these actresses. And these actors getting butt naked because we don't want animals killed, PETA, and all those kind of things. Well, what's the reason? And these, (laughs) and the announcer on this CBS affiliate actually had a straight face when he said they told him that it was just to have fun. You know you got way too much time on your hands when you go after something like this, right? Just to have fun. A Georgia-based restaurant says that Zaxby's is a problem in some states, Alabama being one of those. Some of the locations in Zaxby's have something in their computers that is taking your credit card and your debit card information. Coleman is not listed, but it might be a good idea to just use cash at least until they can figure out where all of this is coming from. I see you've got Muscle Shows, Huntsville, Fort Payne, and Florence are the ones. All right, let's see if we can get this right here. All right. Hello? George. Yeah. I'd like to know your perspective on the fact that the Republicans shut out the Democrats in the last Cullen County election. What do you think? <laughs> I think it's a bad time to be a blue dog a Democrat or a yellow dog, even worse, because, you know, candidates have just, they, uh, Democrat candidates just have an uphill battle, don't they? All the way, it seems like. And there's a lot of backlash. I think, against uh, the National Democrat Party. And it's hard. It's hard for if you're a local Democrat to distance yourself. You don't want to do that. So you just keep quiet a lot of times. But I believe, yeah, I think I think it may be that way for a while. I don't know how long. Is that your thing? Is that what you think? Well, I think that might be a good question for you to ask on your Friday morning show. Well, did you hear us a couple of weeks ago when we were talking with Senate, former Senator Zeb Little? I said, Zeb, I said, what will it take for a local Democrat to win an election? You know what his word was? What? Magic. <laughs> okay, that's as good as you can get. I don't know. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it, it's difficult, you know, and we're not bad-mouthing uh, local Democrats because there's some very good people. But I'll tell you, those bozos, and same goes to some degree for, for Republicans, too. The folks up there forget about us back here. They're forgetting. I mean... Where are our representatives? Where's our senators, you know? And these people who are facing this fiscal cliff, we called it. Here we are again. Obama's making everybody look who's trying to talk about balancing the budget and getting back on track. He said, oh, you can't do that. You watch. You're going to let veterans go home with no pay? You know, I tell you what, you got to do what you have to do. You've got to do what. Now, here, here's the thing that really, oh, here I go. Here's what really fires me up, is that if you don't understand what's going on nowadays, consider this. We have a president whose mentor was a communist, period, a communist. Now, 
when he got into office some four years ago, seems like a lifetime now, when he went into office, he appointed czars based on used to be communistic government, right? This is the man who wants to take your weapons away from you. Now, if that doesn't bother you, I'll tell you it, bo it bothers a lot of people who are veterans who went and had to fight communists. If that doesn't bother you, you son, you're out in the cold. You better wake up and come back, okay? Because it's wrong. And the news media is going to paint it any which way they can, except for a couple of networks who want to tell the truth. And they're lambasted. That's incredible to me that people will allow this to go on. Because this man wants to keep us from drilling for oil, but he wants to give foreign countries incentives to drill. Why? We don't want to be better than nobody else. Say what? Say what? All right. Stay tuned. More of today on two after this. In the nation, we can't make every annoying thing disappear. But we can eliminate deductibles. Nationwide insurance members who add vanishing deductible get $100 off for every year of safe driving. Join the nation where deductibles go. Nationwide is on your side. Five o'clock in the morning of August 19th, 1934, the transcontinental train journey began, which was to be unique in history. Its destination was the new escape-proof prison on the island of Alcatraz. And its passengers were 54 case-hardened and desperate criminals, headed by the gangster overlord whose deeds had given him the undisputed title of public enemy number one, Scarface Al Capone. It is time to give away our prizes for today, and we have some unique prizes for today. We have Papa John's wow. Large Specialty Pizza. Whoa. That's just one of our prizes. We have, no, not two copy, one copy of the book. <laughs> it should be single handed. When I don't proof these things, <laughs> we have a mess on our hands. Single handed, we had uh, Loretta Wade and uh, Steve Mays, or not Steve, but Keith Mays, Keith on Mays. Uh, the other day talking about the book. We'll do one book today and one tomorrow is okay. what I would like to do. Okay. Um, most people don't need two copies of the Probably same not, book. No. Okay, and we have the pass to the Wellness and Aquatic Center. Those are the prizes we have for today. Let's look at our merchant ads, and we'll talk about one of these ads. Starting with Deb's Bookstore, where books are always on sale. Used books are half price every day. New books are 20% off every day. Even special order books are on sale. Very good, Mr. Hicks Men's Wear. Of course, they have businessmen's top coats a third off. Regular sizes all the way up to the big and tall. Hard to fit, guys. Now offering suits made to your measurements. Tires for Less is more than just tires. They do a minor engine repair, replace shocks and brakes, do oil changes. Stop and see Greg and the guys at Tires for Less on Highway 31 North. And, of course, Uniform Place is featuring the Alegria shoe. This is something that you can step out in style when you have these shoes on. Look at all the different varieties that they have available, and they really are very, very comfortable, and not just for nurses. Tutor Doctor, make this the best school year ever, offering experienced, qualified local tutors in math, reading, ACT, and much, much more. The Tutor Doctor. 
And of course, Earl's Body Shop wants to remind you to move over for those emergency vehicles as they are going down the road. They do have large and small towing available, local or long distance, Earl's Body Shop. Yates Chance Christian Bookstore, a better way to shop for Christian entertainment, now featuring the My Evil Color Tablet. Giving you uh, Christian song downloads, e-books, audio books, and Bibles, video games, they have it all. People's Tires Break and Alignment Center. I went over there yesterday and took advantage of the uh, ladies' get tire rotation at half price. And I got all changed. They did a great job. I was in and out of there. It was wonderful. Sorelli Jewelry, the antique-inspired heirloom jewelry. This is the rage right now. Available at Doug Dogga Jewelers on Compass Way in Southwest Coleman. There we go with some of the merchant ads. We have more to show you in just a little bit. But first of all, we'll ask our question for today. Which advertiser is selling the judge? Whoa. Maybe we all need to get the judge. (laughs) (laughs) Which judge do you have in mind? (laughs) The one that's in the ad. Oh, okay. Okay. (laughs) Which merchant is advertising and selling the judge? Our telephone number, 256-734-7399. And our prizes, again, we have the uh, the book, Single-Handed. We have uh, pizza from Papa John's, right. large specialty pizza. And we have a day pass to the Wellness and Aquatic Center. Hello, who's calling? Uh, Tia. From where are you calling? Coleman. From Coleman, okay. Which advertiser has the judge? Which advertiser has the judge? Uh, Hansville Gun and Ammo. Hansville yes. Gun and Ammo. Yep, that's the right there answer. This is Sheila. I knew that was who that was. How <laughs> are you, Sheila? <laughs> Thanks for calling in. You've won some nice prizes. Thank you. Okay, right. stay on the line, please. You know, it brings on a whole new meaning to having the judge in your pocket. <laughs> yeah, it does. Think about it. Good Think line, about then. it. <laughs> Let's look at that ad and the rest of our merchant ads right now, starting with Amerigas, America's propane company, where customer satisfaction is their primary goal. They're located on Highway 31 North, right by the water tower. And Borden Family Pharmacy right there on Highway one, uh, 157, right at the uh, let's see, Eva Road Exchange. And, of course, the difference is not when you open their bottle, but when you open their door. You will notice that the minute you walk in, they're a good neighbor pharmacy. Renard's Gallery and Gifts is an art gallery, a gift store, a jewelry store. They have clothing. They have some antique items. Custom framing is available. Renard's Gallery and Gifts on 1st Avenue Southeast. And there's the Coleman Wellness and Aquatic Center. We're going to give you one of those day passes where Sheila's going to win one today or has won one. And they have the indoor rubberized walking track, which would really be nice right now. Auto Tech, Foreign and Domestic Auto Repair and Service. David Methvin has relocated his business to the Vinemont area on County Road 1354 between Ridgemont Community Church and the Super Saver. And Dairy Queen, the Grill and Chill, and their Blizzard of the Month is the Chocolate Candy Shop, filled with chocolate pieces of candy. Ooh, yummy. There's Hansfield Guns and Ammo, always lower prices on guns, ammo, and reloading supplies. The Judge, $394.99, tax included, the January Special. And Night Free Insurance Agency, providing insurance coverage for over three generations. One of the top ten growth agencies in the state of Alabama for auto owners. And remember, be sure to insure. Mullins Body Shop, over 50 years doing auto body repair and towing. You can still count on them today. Mullins Body Shop. And Baldwin Counseling Center. Of course, Dr. Howard Rogers is the man to talk to if you need some lifestyle coaching or individual and family counseling. Weight loss problems, he can help you get started on a good weight loss program. And those are the merchant ads we have for today. We do have some birthdays to talk about on January 16th. Faye Morris has a birthday and Wanda Anderson. And, of course, they are going to be put into the drawing on Friday where they have that possibility of winning an 8x10 portrait from Baker Photography and an ice cream cake from Dairy Queen. Coming up next, we're going to talk about Girl Scouts with Jennifer Parker. At Premier Bank, we are very proud of the long-lasting relationships we have with our customers. We'll go almost anywhere to meet your banking needs. 
overwhelmed by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising, and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Moody. Call us today and let us tailor a loan program to your specific needs and requirements. Meet the KitchenAid 36-inch induction cooktop. It might just change the way you cook. Induction technology heats the pan and not the cooking surface to offer you a new level of precision, speed, and energy efficiency. Nine settings give you different levels of heat to achieve precise temperatures and amazing responsiveness. Water boils in just seconds, making this the fastest to boil induction cooktop available. The KitchenAid 36-inch induction cooktop. Life lived in black and white is not a life lived. Today, I choose color. To see it. To feel it. To be in it. To be upon it. And to live a life surrounded by it. Today, I put on a fresh coat. Girl Scouts and cookies are synonymous, aren't they? They really are. They go together. (laughs) (laughs) Jennifer Parker is back to talk with us. Jennifer is an executive with the Girl Scouts. Jennifer, hello again. Hello. Good to have you back on the program. I love being here. Thank you. Last year when you were on, you were talking about 100th anniversary of the Girl Scouts. Yes. So we're getting ready for the second century. Okay. Girl Scouting. You guys really have evolved, haven't you? We really have. Yeah. When you think about Girl Scouts, now you can think about science projects and math projects and all oh, kinds yes. of wonderful things. Yes. So y'all are keeping up with the next century, aren't you? <laughs> we are, we are. You know, we've been known for cookies, camping, and crafts. Mm-hmm. But we now are known for building girls of courage, confidence, and character. Okay. And make the world a better place. Very good. So and change our C's. Yes. <laughs> and before we run out of time, I definitely want to talk about the cookies because really yes. that is something that people do yes. think of when they, and it's this time of the year. It always comes about this time of it the does. year. It does. Okay. Now, we're going to ask her, what is the most popular cookie in Coleman County? In Coleman County, it is the Samoas. Okay. So we might ask that some other time. <laughs> yeah. so they need to be aware of that if they're <laughs> That's watching the again. Samoa's box. Yeah. Yes, yes. That's it. That's and it. is that the kind of a coconut? It's got a little bit of a coconut it in is. it? It okay. is. A little bit of chocolate, a little bit of coconut. Okay. So, yeah, and you and I talked, and the Thin Mints is really, those are the ones mm-hmm. that we like the best. <laughs> How about you? Do you like Samoa's, or does it matter? Or? I would prefer Samoa's over Thin Mints. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. I like minty flavors. You notice I said prefer one of them. I know. Them, but I dislike one. You like all of them, don't yes, you? Do. Yes. Okay, well, we will sign you up, just like that little girl on the commercial. We will sign you up for a box of each one go. of them, okay? <laughs> That's right. Yeah, That's I right. love that commercial. But anyway, but that is something that you are talking about, how the girls really, it's kind of almost like a little mini business for them selling Absolutely, their cookies Absolutely, because stuff. we teach them how to set goals. Uh, and how many boxes they want to sell. We teach them about customer service, how to treat your customers. We teach about marketing. Sure. When they're going to be out in front of Lowe's and Walmart, mm-hmm. they'll be marketing their product. Mm-hmm. And we teach business ethics, you know, how to how to run your business in the Right. the right way right to tell the truth mm-hmm. if you're promising this much then you've got to right. fulfill the promise we, absolutely right yeah so, so we, we talk about what a cookie can do and what a girl can do oh with very that, good so. yeah cookies make us happy i know mm-hmm. that when you're eating a cookie it makes you happy that's right, that's right. <laughs> you might not be so happy afterwards after you've eaten a whole box of cookies but <laughs> oh, i don't know it makes me pretty happy <laughs> I always worry about right. those pounds. I know. You know. It, but right. then that means you've got to get out and exercise after you've eaten all those cookies. That's right. <laughs> That's good for you. That's right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See, it moderation. Teaches, and sure. it's yeah. moderation. Right. It teaches you that as well. Yeah. Well, now, are Absolutely. you doing it a little differently over the last couple of years? Do you do pre sales now, or do you actually sell the cookies out front? Actually, this year is different. We actually have the cookies in hand. Okay. They are in Coleman County. The girls have them. Okay. And they may be going door to door this weekend. Okay. 
Okay. And their little red wagon or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we also teach safety. Okay. So, and so they will be safe doing that. And so they have them in hand. And I would imagine that it kind of does, it's a mother-daughter or it could be yes. a mother-father type mm -hmm. thing. I remember mm -hmm. encountering somebody who had a bunch of cookies in the back of his pickup truck uh -huh. and he was trying to help his daughter <laughs> sell all oh, these cookies. Yes. We, we can't do it without our dads. No. <laughs> but now, don't you also sell in front of some of the retail stores? Absolutely. Wal yeah. Walmart and okay. Lowe's um, starting next weekend. Okay. And goes through the um, first weekend in March. So. So if somebody It'll doesn't know a Girl Scout offhand but still wants some of the cookies, they just yes. need to show up at one of those places yes. on any given weekend probably. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Or call me. Okay. <laughs> yep, that's true. And Jennifer, because you probably have quite a few cookies, mm. don't you? Well, I'll put some girls in contact with you. Okay. Good. So. Well, Jennifer, thanks for being here. Thank you. Girl Scout Thank Cookie you. Time. Anybody that wants some cookies, go ahead and, and is there like a website they can go to to get information? Well, actually, here? there's a cookie app. That you can get. Oh it's a cookie goodness. locator oh app. My goodness. Okay. And our leaders are putting in where they're going to be by zip code. Okay. So you can kind of find them that way as well. Oh, wow. Okay, well, you need to load, our smartphone. Need, yeah, load it on your smartphone. That's right. I need to know. Before we go, uh, Jennifer's husband has a birthday today. Yes. And so we need to give a shout out to him. Yeah, yeah okay. James Parker. Oh, very good. Happy birthday, James. And he's, uh, what, 40? Something oh, like that. I better not say. <laughs> <laughs> he might not be too happy. <laughs> He's past that right now. <laughs> we'll be back with more right after this. There's stuff around your house, but we don't make stuff. We make ovens. Dual fuel double ovens. And they bake so evenly that now delicious is something you can depend on. We only make things for one room. The best room. Your kitchen. We're devoted to it. And you can feel it in everything we make. Nobody knows the kitchen like KitchenAid. Overwhelmed by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Newton. Call us today and let us tailor a loan program to your specific needs and requirements. Westminster Assisted Living. It's like five-star hotel service. There's a full-service beauty salon, barber shop, library, and activity rooms, private dining room for personal and family entertaining, and a skylit two-story atrium conversation area. Westminster Assisted Living also has a memory support care unit for residents with Alzheimer's and other forms of dementia. Westminster Assisted Living. Come live with us. At Premier Bank, we take pride in serving our community. We respect our customers, and we've won awards for our ethical conduct. We're motivated to do all we can for you, and we're interested in your banking needs. We're efficient, safe, and sound, and our relationships with our customers are second to none. At Premier Bank, we put the customer first. Now it's time for our Community Billboards, brought to you by Pepsi and Coleman Jefferson Gas. Baxter Blake is appearing live at the Coleman Civic Center on Saturday, January the 19th. Yeah, it's in conjunction with Coleman County Cattlemen's and Cattlewomen's Annual Meeting. If you want more information, give them a call, 256-734-4052. And Coleman Animal Shelter needs your help. The shelter needs items such as leashes and kitty litter, large wire crates, harnesses of all sizes, from small to medium to large, and housing pens. Please give them a call at 256-338-2936 if you have any additional information you need to uh, obtain. And Saturday Night Dance will be this Saturday featuring the Boogie Night Band, and that's at the VF po VFW Post, um, I think it's 2214, from 7 to 10. And, of course, the cost is $5 per person. For more information, you can call Jerry Willoughby at 256-347-0807. 
and community billboards are brought to you, of course, by Pepsi and Coleman Jefferson Gas. And if you have one you want to share with us, you can email it to channel2coleman at gmail.com, fax it to 256-734-7680, or be a friend on Facebook, Channel 2 Coleman. Weather forecast brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet on Cherokee Avenue. Another rainy day today, 70% chance of rain this morning, otherwise cloudy, a high of 45 30% chance of rain, maybe some snow overnight. No accumulation expected, however, low near 30. Cloudy, windy, 70% chance of rain or snow with little or no accumulation tomorrow, a high near 40. And coming up tomorrow, who's coming to see us? Well, it looks like Steve Lake, and is it Terry Slayton or Slatton? Yes. Okay. I'll ask Terry when I, All right. I know Terry, and I can't ever I know remember. me either, and they are going to be here to talk about this Cattleman's Annual Meeting. Mm -hmm. And it sounds like yep. they have a great uh, guest speaker, comedian Baxter Black. Yes. Be there. Mm -hmm. their guest That's speaker. our program for today. Thank you for watching Today on 2. Hope you can stay dry today. <laughs>